One, my comically short legs don't preclude me from standing up. Now, do they? Don't patronize me. I can get around just fine with my adorable little legs. Thank you very much. Two, this little kitty looks like he's worried he might be made fun of by his friends because of his condition. Don't worry, fella. They'll love you more for it just like we do. Relax and believe in yourself. Three, I know, I know. I can barely lift myself up off the ground, right? Just leave me alone, please. I don't want to have to deal with you and your cruel, mocking ways at all right now. I've had a rough day. Four, can't reach toy. Ugh, life is so difficult when you're this small and adorable. Especially when your annoying owners decide to continuously mock you with these silly fake mice. Yes, I know they're not real. I know. Five. Can't reach remote either. Why must life be so painful and difficult? Every waking moment is a ceaseless nightmare. Just hang in there, little guy. Six. I'm pretending not to hear your aww. Look at his little wigs. It's just, you know, offensive to me, okay? I don't need you infantilizing me just so you can feel better about yourself. Seven. Tap dancing is so much easier with these shorties. Come on, dance with me. It's a beautiful night and I'm just in such a good mood that all I can do is show the universe how much I love it. Eight. I'll get you someday, Steam. When the time is finally right, I'll take you down once and for all. As soon as my legs grow, I'm telling you, it's going to happen. And when it does, you'll be sorry. Nine, knock it off or I'll swipe at you. What do you think you could do? Go ahead and rub my belly without consequences? And I'm just going to go ahead and warn you right now, my swipe is deadly. Ten. Hey, buddy, is there uh, something in my whiskers? Uh, can you reach it for me, please? Uh, come on. I've got a date later, and I hate going around feeling like there's something I'm missing. 11. Hey, man, nice to meet you. I'm Albert, the superstar munchkin. Sup? You guys having a good time? Can I uh, get you a drink? No? Well, uh, what are you looking at then? Uh, get out of here. 12. Clearly, this munchkin is ready to Netflix and chill. Look at the onesie and the casual lean. All he needs is a pizza and a remote control, and he'll be good for the rest of the day. Albert is very versatile indeed. 13. Sometimes I ride a pink scooter because it's functional and it gets me where I need to go. Real men ride pink, haven't you heard? I'm comfortable enough in my masculinity to not be embarrassed, thank you. 14. Oh, uh, hello. I'm here for the dachshund audition. You see, esteemed judges, I may have been born a munchkin cat, but I have always, at heart, been little more than a simple hot dog. 15. You might not be able to get around the same when your legs are super short, but that doesn't mean this little guy isn't game to try. Just look at him go. He slides like a kitty twice his size. 16. I sleep with both eyes open just because, after all, you never know what might happen while you're fast asleep or what sort of tricks people might want to play on you while you're unconscious. 17. Aren't I magnificent? You see, I may have short stubby legs, but I'm absolutely beautiful and there's absolutely nothing that anybody could do to convince me otherwise. 18. I'm not here for you to squeeze me, people. I just want to live my life in peace without having to worry every waking moment about some stranger randomly picking me up. 19. At least my legs don't fall off the windowsills like normal cats. You see, despite my condition, I'm far more aesthetically pleasing than your average run-of-the-mill long-legged feline. 20. Look how easily I'm able to fit into tight spots like this little cardboard box. Thanks, short stubby legs. Other cats love hiding in boxes too, but they must be so jealous of me. 21. My eyes are as big as my legs. I'm a monster. How on earth am I ever supposed to be accepted by the rest of the cat world when I look so darn unusual? Why must this happen to me? 22. Oh, me? Uh, I'm just doing my munchkin meditation, you know, 
when my human started doing yoga, I was skeptical at first, but then I joined her, and I've got to say, it really works. Forget downward-facing dog. I call this upward-facing cat. 23. My BFF understands here what it's like to be low to the ground. My human? Well, she's another story. She walks around everywhere with those long, elegant legs of hers. I'm not jealous, though. Nope, not one bit. 24. This leg thing is making me dizzy. I mean, I've got to tell you, it's like this world was built for normal-legged cats or something. And when you have short, stubby legs like mine, it can feel hard to keep up. 25. I'm like a lot cuter than a corgi, right, Mom? Right? Please? For the love of all that's holy, tell me because I really could use some positive affirmations right about now. 26. Meow? I'm not sure if I really know how to, uh, cat right now. I mean, without those long, agile legs, how much of a cat am I, really? I'm sorry, I'm just having a real existential crisis at the moment. All right, well, that sure brightened my day, but destroyed my productivity. How am I supposed to get any more work done when all I can focus on right now is getting my own little munchkin?